Now let me show you how to calculate basic stair layouts using the Construction Master Pro. And keep in mind that the keystrokes will be exactly the same if you're using our trig model or our desktop model. This stair function can save hours of frustrating calculations and stair table lookups. Um, first off, let me show you that the calculator is going to use a 7.5 inch uh, target riser height as the default. If I hit recall 7 above there, it says riser height stored is 7.5 inches. That's the default of the calculator, calculator that it will use. You can change that to something else if you like, but for this example, we're going to leave that alone. So now we just put in our floor to floor drop. Say we've got a 9 foot 4 inch rise or floor to floor rise. I'm going to hit rise. So now I just press the stair key and it will give us a whole series of answers. First press gives us a riser height which calculates most evenly to 7 and 7 16 inches, which is fine. It's below our, our uh, target height. Press it again. There's going to be 15 risers. Pressing it again. Uh, that's a R stands for remainder. That means there's an adjustment of 7 16 7 inch. You need to make somewhere along that 15 riser uh, stairway. Press it again. Tread width 10 inches. Uh, that's the default tread width, so there's no adjustment going to be needed there. There's going to be 14 of those treads. Again, there's no adjustment required. Um, the stairwell opening is 10 feet 1 inch. That's based on the uh, default setting we have for the headroom clearance, which is 6 foot 8, which you can change that if you like. And the next press gives us a stringer length, 14, 6 and a half, and the angle of incline. The final press gives us the total run of the stairway, which is 11 foot 8 inches, which would probably work in this situation. Now in another situation, let's say you're building these stairs into a basement uh, and you'll only have 11 foot 6 inches of horizontal run to work with. So we would put that in by 11 feet 6 inches and call that the run. The floor to floor drop or rise remains the same, so we come back to the stair key, press it, the riser height is still 7 and 7 sixteenths, There's still 15 risers, still the same adjustment of 7 sixteenths of an inch, but now when we get to tread width, it's changed. It's no longer the default 10 inch tread width or the target tread width of 10 inches. It's 9 and 7 eighths. And there's a little triangle alert symbol there just letting you know that the calculated tread width is a little bit less than your target. In this case, we'll assume you've checked it out with your client and the building inspector and we'll just proceed on through. Uh, there's 14 treads. There's going to be uh, an adjustment of 1 quarter inch. That's the remainder. Uh, the stairwell opening is now 9 and 11 and a half. Uh, the stringer length is 14.5 and 1 16th, and the angle is uh, 36.99, and of course the total run is the 11.6 that we entered in 